<laughs> Hi guys, so for today's video, I'm actually doing something that one of my dear friends requested and what she requested was my favorite toys for Isaac. The first thing I was going to talk about, which he's already grabbed hold of, are these little stacking cups. Can I see this one? Oh, thank you. We're actually missing a couple of these. When we got them, he had no concept of what stacking was. He liked to throw them and make a lot of noise, but they are definitely one of his favorite things. So one of the toys that I really love for Isaac is this little baby cajon. I call it a cajon because it's a wooden drum. And so I just think of a cajon. It's got four different sound areas. It's really cute. This one is by a company called Green Tones, which also made uh, another toy that was Isaac's favorite, but that we have since lost. But this is a great toy, especially once he hit six months and was sitting up on his own. He just loved to bang on this thing. Another toy that we absolutely love for Isaac are these little blocks. I'm pretty sure this is the Fisher Price uh, first, my first block set, I think is what it's called. And I think it goes without saying that I will link as much as possible down below for you in case you are also looking for stuff for your kiddo. These are just uh, little plastic stackable blocks. What I like about it is that like you are technically able to sort them by shape. Each shape is a different color as well. So I use that kind of stuff to like identify different colors and shapes and to be able to explain stuff to him in Spanish and in English. My one complaint is that this lid falls off so easily. It's like impossible to really sort the blocks with him, um, at least at this age, because he's just not interested in that. He's more interested in taking the lid off and dumping all of his blocks out of the bucket. He's just way more interested in doing that than he is like actually sorting shapes. I really want to get him a cube where like one side of the cube slides out and lifts up and that way you can like take out all of the shapes and then you can sort the shapes again. The only time I've seen it in person is at like in a church nursery so I don't know where to find one but I'm gonna look for one. Another really simple toy that Isaac really loves is this little ball. <laughs> This one is just an organic cotton one that came with his play gym. And he's not a huge fan of the play gym part of it as much anymore. He still plays on the mat, but not so much with the activities stuff. So I've taken all of the toys off of the gym and he just plays with them individually now. This one we really love. I liked it ever since he was little because he's been able to grasp it just the way that this one is shaped. But now, because Isaac is very interested in learning how to walk, like he likes to hold onto our fingers and just walk around as much as possible, it's really fun to watch him like kick this ball. Or if he's crawling around, he'll grab onto it and he'll throw it and then he'll crawl to it and he'll throw it again. It's just a little game that he plays. So that is a really great toy. Another really simple toy that I love. They come in a set of five, but I can only find three <laughs> right now. Are these shaky eggs? These are from the brand Haba. And what I like about these is how simple of a toy they are. They're basically like an egg maraca, but each one of them makes a different sound. So this little green one makes a sound like a bird while this one sounds a little bit duller there's one that has like a jingle bell in it and one that sounds like more of a traditional maraca and then there's this one you twist it to make the noise anyway they're all different colors and they're super fun isaac like will chew on these and i feel comfortable because they're non-toxic they're wooden i love these they're a great Toy. All babies love these. If you buy like one of these things, I would highly recommend buying these. They're good for everything. The last toy that I'll talk about is maybe one of Isaac's favorites and has been his favorite since about six months old. Yeah, because he got this for Christmas and it's been his favorite since then. It's this little xylophone <laughs> hammer toy. <laughs> <laughs> what I love about this is that the xylophone part pops out and it comes with a two-sided mallet which I don't know where it is right now. Probably in the toy basket. But the other thing that's really cool, slides in very easily. You can hammer down these little balls. There's a red, green, and a blue one. And depending on where it is, it makes that really fun sound. I also love that these are wooden, so I appreciate that the plastic parts of it are extremely minimal. So yeah, he loves that toy. He really loves all these toys, but I think the eggs and the xylophone hammer 
thing. <laughs> Those are probably his top two favorite. Oh, one final toy. I can't say that this is a favorite, but one toy that I will, that we just opened is this Melissa and Doug like alligator walker. And Isaac has been a huge fan. I literally put this together yesterday and he's already like holding onto it and like cruising, walking. My mom anxiety is like very high about him hitting his head, but He's doing great so far. But yeah guys, that's everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope if you are a new parent or a new parent-to-be that this is a little bit informative. We definitely have a couple toys that I really wanted Isaac to like that he just doesn't care for. And that's okay. Let me know if you guys are interested in seeing a list of Isaac's favorite books because he definitely has several favorites right now and I would be happy to share a list like that with you guys if that's something that interests you so let me know in a comment down below if you are interested in seeing that thanks so much for watching guys please subscribe if you haven't already and if you are subscribed and you liked this video give it a thumbs up we will see you guys in our next video bye oh don't grab the tripod don't grab the tripod how did i know that was gonna happen oh.